Hi, this is the Max and Beth Show, here with our second video on the fundamental elements of uh, rolfing and uh, balanced posture. Uh, working ourselves out of a job, <laughs> one video at a time. Um, last video, we, we tried to outline some of the, the basic and fundamental elements of, of healthy and, uh, and, and uh, balanced sitting posture. Uh, today we have something a little bit different. Right, and today we're going to be working through the fundamentals of moving from sitting to standing. So in the last video we outlined something about static posture. In this video we're basically taking that posture into, into movement. So we're basically injecting the static posture with, with a dynamic uh, quality. And Beth has kindly volunteered to be our model today, uh, sacrificing her well-being for the sake of science. So Beth is, uh, to begin with, um, well, what we're going to try to do in this video is, is outline basically three, three steps, um, and three steps to, uh, to find a way of carrying forward those, those elements that we uh, identified in the last video, just trying to carry them forward into a slightly different context. Again, the, the context of the first video was sitting, the context of this video is the dynamic transition from sitting to standing. And so there were, there were um, I guess, two and, and then a third thing that, uh, that we will consider. One of them is, is basically the center of gravity, and that's uh, more or less the experience of weight in the body center of that weight. The second uh, element is the base of support. And then the, the kind of emergent quality when those two elements um, interface together in a harmonious way. The third, uh, the third element is this emergent quality of verticalness, which we can call the line. And so basically what we're doing is trying to, trying to uh, discover the line in various different contexts. So last, last week we tried to discover the line in sitting. This week we're trying to discover the line in transition from sitting to standing. As a rule, there are you know, innumerable different ways to, uh, to stand up uh, in a kind of dysfunctional manner. Um, what we're trying to do though is rather than enumerate every one of those thousand, uh, thousand and one different ways to stand up um, in a dysfunctional way, we're trying to identify what are the you know, basic, essential, and, and sort of conserved quantities through, throughout all of those, those variations. And as a rule, um, all dysfunctional standing patterns share something in common, and that has to do with um, a basically unsuccessful navigation of moving the center of gravity to a new base of support. Beth is going to, uh, to, to demonstrate for us uh, what that might look like in practice. Um, so if you just stand straight up without any... And uh, that was a great, a great illustration um, of... Well, let, let's just ask Beth. Beth, what was your experience of well, I was really off balance the whole time, um, and I had to use a lot of muscular effort, especially in my low back. I think that's right. It just looked quite right. labored. Right. And uh, you know, Beth is Beth is a strong, uh, fit woman. She's able to uh, compensate for lack of lack of coordination and, and right. coordination. fluency in the mo movement. Right. Um, but she, you know, she has to use all of her muscles. Right. right. And that was the mistake. I guess it's not a good strategy anymore. Right, and you think about how many times you move from sitting to standing every day. So if you're constantly moving in that uncoordinated way, you're going to be sore at the end of the day. It's going to hurt. Yeah, and that's a great way to put it. You're, you're laying down patterns that, that yeah, right. are going to lead, lead to pain. So uh, now Beth is going to basically just you know, uh, show us, um, do, perform the same motion, but perform it in a way that's, that's much more balanced. And so to begin with, uh, she's just going to try to identify the experience of weight. And a good strategy to do that is, just like Beth is showing, is just to rock back and forth. Just feeling the quality of, of weight through your body. And now you can see she's, she's approaching the point at which her center of gravity is now transferred to a new base of support over her feet. Beautiful. And in that case, once the first two steps are dialed in, the experience of weight, even the transfer of that weight to a new base of support, the falling happens almost like spontaneously. It's almost as though you're, excuse me, the standing does it. Almost like you're able to fall into standing. Right. How did, how would you compare that experience to the one before? There's a lot less muscular effort, so I'm using gravity as my ally. That's a great way right. to put it. Instead of fighting against gravity, mm -hmm. I'm kind of moving into gravity. Um, yes, and, and there's a grace to, uh, to the quality that, that Beth showed in the standing in that case. Um, well, we hope that, that what we outlined in this video will be helpful for you. We hope you'll be able to uh, find ways of 
of carrying it uh, you know, forward into your daily activities. Um, and, uh, and then uh, other than that, all that's left is to say, um, say thank you for your time. We look forward to, uh, to uh, next week, another video next week. Um, Beth, do you have any parting words for us? <laughs> Uh, well, I certainly look forward to continued exploration of the line.